thank you uh, thank you akash for this warm welcome good morning everyone and my name is namrata and uh, i am basically from banaras but staying in bangalore from a uh, few years now and like akash said uh, most of us are not from the medical background and so uh, so am i i am id engineer but thanks to wq who gave me a platform to live my passion in the area of health and wellness uh but the hero or heroine of today is not me it's going to be a wq champion who is here today and um, it's very privilege for me to invite her on this digital platform because she has done an amazing work on herself not only inspired uh, you know a lot of people around her but she's living the life what wq believes in so help me welcome shirley on this uh, platform Welcome, Shirley. Thank you, Namrata. Hi, all. Arav. So, Shirley, why don't you introduce uh, yourself to everyone? Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Shirley. Uh, I'm living in Chennai, and I've been working with McKinsey and Company for the past eight years. And uh, I got married two years back, and so since then, I'm living with my husband in Chennai. All right, Shirley. So uh, you know, we met uh, somewhere around December last year, and yeah. uh, when we met, there were you know, I remember that you were in some different health conditions. So how was your health situation before you started with us? So, uh, actually, I I was always on the heavier side. I've always like been the chubbier kid in school, college, and uh, even when I joined work, I was the same. but um, once i joined work and uh, you know i had uh, i had to uh, eat a lot of outside food i had different shifts and uh, uh, i had to work night shifts and morning shifts uh, randomly and because of that my health condition uh, started to like uh, get worse and uh, every year and uh, i i gained a few pounds, a few kgs every year and uh, when i uh, uh, when i when covid covid kid hit actually i was uh, more than 100 kgs when I, covid came so the lockdown and i was binge eating a lot and uh, because of that i uh, i was more than 100 kgs and when my marriage was fixed i uh, i lost uh, around 10 to 12 kgs of weight by doing some home uh, starb st i i starved a lot and i did some home uh, diets which were not like a uh, balanced and uh, i was feeling weak and i lost i managed to lose some 10 to 12 kgs but after marriage i again gained back the weight that i lost and uh, uh, I, i when i met you last year in december i was around like 116 kgs which was like the heaviest phase of my life yes um, and you know i mean i think uh covid has hit a lot of people in a similar way we all you know because food was very easy for us it just a uh, one you know one delivery away zomato and swiggy it impacted our health what was your you know uh, uh basically what was your state of mind during that phase that you know how to come out of this phase um the thing is like uh, uh i i i was quite addicted i would say i was quite addicted to the outside food like uh, i was too feeling too lazy and tired all the time to cook my foods and i was like uh, kind of like uh, uh, feeling uh, very sick because of the outside food and the uh, the things that i was eating so i was like i wanted to get out of it but i don't, didn't know a way to how to do it or how to start with my uh, uh, he uh, health uh, journey uh, so i was always looking for something i mean we, we hear a lot of uh, weight loss programs everywhere the internet is full of it but the problem is like i couldn't find a sustainable weight loss program anywhere that was my biggest challenge um i mean uh, and i also remember that you know when uh, we started and uh, uh, you told me that you know namrata i have tried a lot of things i have uh, i have been in this weight loss phase you know multiple times up and down uh, and, uh, you know uh, it is not something which is very new to me and the only thing i see is you know that how i will be consistent and things like that but it's been 10 months and i have seen you being one of the very consistent player you know with the 10 months it's not an easy time and in this 10 months where do you stand now you know 
uh, after 10 months of a journey how's how's your health now and where you stand in terms of weight uh, so uh, as i said earlier i was like 116 kgs when we started this journey so in this 10 months i've reduced around 35 kgs and now my weight is around 79 to 80 that's um Parent almost 30. Oh, here is, here is early transformation, 78 to 79 kgs, almost 38 kgs weight loss, Shadi. You are just remembering 35, but as a coach, you know, I can remember a bit better at 38, but you are standing and it is so amazing to see you. Yeah, thank you. Um, super amazing. All right. So, uh, uh, tell me one more thing, you know, my, many a times when people start, you know, like you also had this question that how I'll be consistent because I can, I mean, the most difficult part I find about myself is being consistent. So what kept you on going for this, uh, you know, 10 months of a time till now? So the, I, I was, I was, as you know, I was skeptical about starting this program. I was not confident, feeling confident because as you said, I have tried many weight loss programs earlier and it, it didn't work out and uh, even if it worked out it I was ma maximum consistent for two three months and then I would give up and I would uh, go back to my old habits again so this was my pattern of life but when I started this program you know I, I didn't have to like uh, sacrifice a lot of things that was actually a good thing I just learned the key points of how to balance my diet and how to include a uh, workout and walking in my everyday life so that was actually like a doable, uh, which made it more, which helped me to be, be consistent because it became a, like a habit. So now um, uh, it's not like a burden or it's like a, it's a, it's become like a habit. It's more like a easy to do. And uh, I, I don't I didn't have to sacrifice uh, any of my like food habits. I just learned how to like uh, uh, use less oil or how to make my food much more healthier. Uh, and uh, I, and as usual, I can enjoy all of my favorite foods and in moderation. That's the key that I learned. Absolutely. This is beautiful because, you know, most of the time it is very easy. Sometimes, you know, people think only for three months, but you are able to follow that habit for a longer period of time. And that's what keeps us going. So that's a very, you know, beautiful point what you covered. So now after this 10 months, where do you see yourself? What is your state of mind now about your life and about your habits, what you have formed? Uh, so I, I've i learned the key points, uh, like I, I told you earlier, like how to maintain a balanced diet and uh, what are the things that I should avoid when I'm eating outside food uh, or when I'm going to some uh, weddings or like any celebrations or any team outings and uh, how to like enjoy my favorite foods and at the same time how to like uh, keep a moderation in everything. And one of the best things I've learned is like uh, workouts don't have to be intense and uh, uh, so making you like uh, uh, tired you can uh, do workouts and enjoy it that's one of the important things i've learned here and i've started to enjoying enjoy doing my workouts and my covering my 10000 steps every day that's actually a great uh, learning for me super amazing shelly i mean uh, that's what i mean uh, the uh, like I mean, I have to tell this to everyone that you know, Shirley. She told me that she cannot be consistent, but she is one of the very consistent player. And it is always that she have always seek that you know, okay, I'm going outside. I have this wedding because I, I mean, in Indian family, it is it is not going to happen that we will not have festivals, we will not have weddings. So we are going to have it all around. But you have been always seek, trying to seek out that, you know, okay, well, how I should be able to manage it when I'm going out? What should I eat it? And you are always, you know, on top of it, being it anything. So well done, Charlie. Superb. Awesome. So now if I, you know, if I have to ask Charlie that, you know, what are the key points that you credit for your successful transformation? Maybe any three. First of all, I would like to thank you. Like you are so patient with me and, uh, the the uh, things that you guided me about, I, I was actually like uh, 
as you as we talked earlier i was not feeling confident but you gave me the confidence to do this and uh, uh, whenever i went even a little bit astray like uh, i have had like downfalls in our journey like i used to like uh, 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 had some deviations food wise food wise and uh, workout wise you always like uh, encouraged me and brought me back to this uh, right track and again and that was actually a great help to me and i would like to thank uh, my uh, cousin who was first of all uh, impacted by uh, wq community she was the one who inspired me uh, to do this and uh, my family and my husband who also like encouraged me i am happy that now i am able to encourage my husband he's also joined uh, with the uh, wq community journey and he such started his journey uh, towards his uh, health Awesome. Yes, I mean I remember that Sindhu started, and she, uh, you know, can um, she gave motivation to you, and I'm so happy that you know now your husband Rensel has started on his journey, and because in a home everything is going right, if people are able to, because you are living with him, you know, all the time, and he sees everything going right, and that could be the biggest motivation and inspiration for sure. All right, wonderful. So, Shani, if Anything you would like to share with others, you know, who are also going on the similar journey like you, uh, who are also planning to to go through the similar transformation. What you would like to share with them? Uh, it's it's like you don't have to be discouraged. It's always doable with the if you have a little bit motivation and self confidence, you can go through everything, and uh, with the right people to guide you. you can always achieve your goals and uh, nothing is like impossible yeah if i can do it everyone can do it that's all awesome well done well, shali i remember you know last year we discussed that uh, new year 2023 it's a beginning of you and new year 2024 you will be completely transformed and that has happened well done kudos it was super blessing to you and do read the message people are sending a lot of good wishes and inspired from your journey so yes. it's all sure thank you thank you namrata